The purpose of this video is going to be to map the magnetic field around this magnet. Now a magnetic field is like any other field. It's an altered space around an object, caused by that object, and in this case it affects magnetic poles. We're going to map it using this compass, and in class I've had you do this particular map and two others um, where there's multiple magnets. But I want to see if we can find some patterns of the magnetic field here. So the way this is done, I had you draw a magnet on the paper, I had you put the magnet on it, and we could see from the compass that the red needle, which is the north pole of the compass, is pointing away from the north on this, uh, on this magnet. So what I asked students to do was to make maps by marking that red arrow and then moving the compass out and repeating the process. And basically you follow the line wherever it goes. And now we're going back into the magnet at the south. So we could trace out a line And we use the direction of the red arrow to draw arrows because magnetic fields have direction. And we can see that they go out of the north and then back into the south. So I'm not going to sit and make the entire map here. Um, I've done this for all of the, the different ones I asked you to do in class. So here's the complete field for one magnet. And we can see some patterns here. So, like I said, the red arrows always point out of the north and into the south. And we can actually see that these, uh, these field lines all appear to be loops. So it's pretty obvious for these guys, out of the north into the south. But I think it's also pretty easy to see that this guy goes off the page and is continued by this guy. And basically, all of these are loops. Interestingly enough, if we could break the magnet in half, what we would see is that they are entirely closed loops. That if we could go inside the magnet, we would see that they continue back like this, moving in the opposite direction inside the magnet. We'd also see something that maybe isn't super apparent. I didn't draw that so well. These lines never cross each other. So they're very intense here in the middle of the magnet, but they're never actually crossing, although that's hard to see. So um, that's pretty interesting that a magnet creates a closed loop of magnetic field. And the fact that these field lines are here in the magnet also tells us something really interesting. If we suddenly broke this magnet, we would see that the lines are moving back in in this direction. And what that means is the lines are going into this broken part of the magnet here. Well, where do lines go into a magnet? At the South Pole. So what we've essentially done is made a new South Pole and a new North Pole. That's one really interesting thing about magnets, until very, very recently, no one had ever isolated a single pole, and that's still only been done under very exotic conditions in the lab. There are no naturally occurring single poles. Every time you make a new south pole, it seems like you make a new north pole too. And, and that's pretty interesting. The other uh, maps I had people make, we did this one. And we can see that, in this case, we have a south pole here and a north pole here. The students essentially just laid the magnets like this. And you can see that idea of the, the field lines going out of a, a north pole and into a south. It doesn't really discriminate on which north or south pole. These field lines are going from this north pole to this south pole. These field lines are going from this north pole to the south pole over here. So there's a, there's a place where the, the field lines seem to switch which way they're heading, but um, 
all of the magnetic poles here are, are equal according to the magnetic field. Um, lines go from one north to one south or the same north to another south. Um, so the last one I wanted to show was this one, which looks pretty, uh, pretty messed up. But all of this jumbling up here in the middle has to do with the fact that magnetic field lines do not cross each other. So as the compass was in the middle here, there was a very rapid switch from the needle pointing this way to the needle pointing 180 degrees. So we've got this jumbled place where the field lines essentially crash into each other and move outward perpendicularly. So that's what happens when you approach two poles that are of the same pole.